Carpenter. Right. 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 All right, I just came from the Planning Commission. We have to find an additional 15 million in suggested cuts to recommend to our illustrious legislators. And I don't want to touch another penny from any social programs. Come on, Sharon. Uh, just an exercise. They will never use this. Oh, look at it this way, Ross. The sooner we get this done, the sooner you get to go back to sexually harassing your secretary. <laughs> you got it. That wasn't too tough, was it? I'm just so tired of those guys. Are you kidding? It was perfect. You got them. Listen. Would they have questioned it if Dick Montgomery was still chairing that committee? Not on your life. All they understand is slam dunk, two points, game over, TKO, touchdown, home run. God, I hate sports. <laughs> so how's it going with what's his name? Yeah, well, I tried to stay interested. But do men really believe we enjoy spending Sundays watching them simonize their sports cars? Oh, yeah, that's a macho tribal right. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have anyone else in mind? No one. I'm about ready to give up on this dating thing. I believe you. No, I mean it. Joke's on me. Here I am, 30 years old, and I've spent all these years waiting for Mr. Wright to come along. I finally realized he's not coming. Oh, don't give up yet. I found Sam. It's true. I had to housebreak him. Hey, are you still coming to his housewarming party? No, oh, no, don't worry about the poor old lonely spinster. No, please, come on. His entire Let's Go Be Drums in the Woods men's group will be there. I will need someone to talk to. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you. Oh, thank God you're here. This place is like a testosterone situation. <laughs> This is Sam's new house. What are you going to marry this guy over here? No, only when he begs me. I'll probably break up with him first, make him really suffer. <laughs> Don't you train him now or pay the consequences later. <laughs> <laughs> this is the game room. Oh, there's a catch. Sam's real estate agent looks and bucks. Martha, I am not here to pick up a man. Have two drinks, then talk to me. Sharon, hello, welcome. Hey, I'm a great house. Thanks. Martha, I need to see you for a second. Can't leave him alone for a minute. I'll... It's coming, darling. <laughs> Keeler said that to Dick Powell after he finished singing the song to her in a movie called Dames. And I've always wanted somebody to say it to me. <laughs> Art Garfunkel sang this song. You obviously never saw Dames. No. <laughs> oh, here comes the end of the song. You know your line? Uh, People go by, but they all disappear from view. And I only have eyes. For you. Gee, Jimmy, that's well. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> I think you have a future in show. Oh. <laughs> I'm Robert Kenson. Hi. And you Hi. are Sharon Blake, right? Yeah, I'm a little psychic. 
funny. You don't look little. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. See? <laughs> Good. You two finally met. She told me she was great, didn't I? Be careful of this dude, Sherry. He's such a talker. He can sell you anything. Hell, he sold me this house. That doesn't have to be your second <laughs> Okay, I admit it. I asked about you. I hope this doesn't mean that you won't dance with me. I have to warn you. I have two left feet. That's perfect. I have two right feet. understand that no matter what every politician promises, the special interests still run things. So I'm doing what I can to oppose that. What? I love listening to you talk. You're fascinating. Well, I enjoyed talking with you, too. I think the party's over. No. Thank you. You're not gonna disappear without giving me your phone number. You don't need me to write it down, do you? I thought you were psychic. Of course, what was I thinking? <laughs> I'll call you soon. Oh, ow. Oh, here. Oh. the way you go to parties not to pick up a man. What? Yeah, okay. How beautiful. Now, what did you do to get those? And how much will you charge to tell me? Sharon Blake. Is this psychic enough for you? Oh, Robert. Robert, they're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, for my next trick, how about dinner Saturday night, if you're free? Uh, Saturday night. Um, yeah, I think I just might be free Saturday night. Great. Uh, any special requests? Just name it and it's yours. Oh, I don't know. Um, how about dinner with a spectacular view? Let me work on it. Taking me. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Dinner with a view. <gasps> oh, you are hilarious. <laughs> Mademoiselle, I believe your table is ready. Oh, you are truly crazy. <laughs> oh, but I was trying to hide it.
Wouldn't it be lovely if life could always be like this? Two people can create this feeling all the time, just by being together. I wasted a lot of years just finding that out. Why are you here with me? Huh? Why aren't you off married somewhere with three screaming kids? <laughs> Oh, I came close once or twice, but most of the men I met really weren't looking for an independent career woman. I guess I was just ambitious and romantic enough to wait. Lucky me. And you, monsieur? Well, I'd love to get married. And I love kids. I've always wanted all that. A real home. It's my dream. Thank you. Uh huh. Well, this was unquestionably my most unique first date. I'll never forget it. I don't know what to say. Say you'll have dinner with me tomorrow night. Why don't I cook you dinner? I'm an idiot. I did the stupidest thing last night. I slept with him. You did? On the first date? It was our second date. Sort of. Oh, and you think that makes it any better? You slut. Martha. I'm so upset. Broke my own rule and I ruined it. He seduced me. No, I seduced him. Well, we sort of seduced each other. But now he'll never call. How was it? <gasps> he'll call. Don't make fun of me. I like this guy. He was different. He was, I don't know, soulful. I blew it. I'm dying. <gasps> Sharon Blake. Robert, how do you do this? <laughs> Robert, these flowers are beautiful. Are you out of your mind? Yes. Are you free for dinner? Say no, and you're going to hear a grown man cry. Dinner? Dinner tonight? Uh, yes, yes, I'm free for dinner tonight. Great. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you either.
don't we just take it slow, see what happens? You don't love me? No. Yes. I, I think I do. Then why waste time with other people? Another guy who was all set to close escrow in a half million dollar house. And he backs out at the last minute because his dog's therapist told him that his dog didn't like the new backyard. <laughs> now you're teasing. I couldn't make this up. <laughs> but you must be very good at what you do. Sharon says you're building your own house and starting your own agency. Well, so far I've just bought the land and hired the architect, but um, yeah, I'm making moves to open my own business. It's terrific. I think it's great. You gotta stay on your toes to keep up with someone as accomplished and uh, intelligent and special mm -hmm. as your daughter. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Robert. You said that exactly the way we rehearsed it. My pleasure. Excuse me. Are you Robert Kinzer? Guilty. You have a telephone call. You work even on this fun day? Oh, very big deal. So that's close. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I like him. Good. I was hoping you would. Oh, he adores you. Yeah. Oh, Mom, so glad you were here to meet him. Thanks, Julie. I miss you. Oh, I miss you too, baby. Tell the mayor you need more time off to come visit your old mom in Florida. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm glad to see you successful, Cher, but I'd like to see you d d settle down and happy. See the one? I don't know yet. I mean, things are happening so quickly, but if I'm still feeling this happy in six months. Maybe. <laughs> says you're not supposed to do this anymore. Do what? You know, why come see me here and not at home? She said is it right. This is bad. It's been a couple of weeks. Come on. You're my pal, right? Tell her you, you, you went to a friend's house. Come on. Robert, your phone. Robert, the phone's ringing. Hi, this is Robert Kinzer. Your call's important to me, so please leave your name and number, and I'll get right back to you. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, Robert? This is Victor Buckley. You remember me? I've had it. You know, your rent check bounced again? That's four months. You owe me $6,000. Do you hear me? $6,000. Now, no more of your sob stories. No more of your salesman crap. I get it by Friday. You're out on the street. You know what I'm telling you? Sorry, honey. Couldn't hear you. Uh, it was your phone. Mr. Buckley called. He left a message on the machine. Yeah? He said you couldn't pay your rent. That he was kicking you out. Sorry, you heard that. It's no big deal. I'll take care of it. You mean it's true? Robert, what's going on? I thought you were building a house, starting your own business. Look, Sharon, it's nothing real. Have you been pretending to have money just to impress me? No, that... don't be ridiculous. <sighs> Sending flowers? Renting limousines? Say something, Robert. Why would you do that? What kind of person do you think I am? Damn it! Don't you question me! Why don't I go? No, I don't want you to go. I just don't want you interfering in my private business. I want to go. No, God, no. Oh, don't wait, please. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, God, you don't think... Sharon, I would never hurt you. Never. I love you. I love you so much. I don't know what I'd do if you left me. I don't know who you are right now, Robert. This is scaring me. All right, uh... Wait, please. Just, just, just... Let me explain, okay? Please. I, uh... I've been under a lot of financial strain lately. I, I didn't want to tell you. The architect on the house, he, he charged me a fortune and then he flaked out on me. I've had three escrows fall through. I had to lend a bunch of money to my brother. I didn't want to burden you with all my problems. Things are so good between us. Don't go. Please. Honey. Honey, please. Basically a ponderous task. It should take you about two weeks. Oh, sorry. We still have for lunch? Yeah, five minutes? Yeah. Did I tell you Sam asked me to move in with him? Again? Congratulations. Oh, no, I swore I'd never live with another man without the necessary legal documents. But I do love him. Would you look at this? All of these books for women are about relationships. I mean, what do they think? All we talk about is men? Shocking. Insulting. Read it. Read it, started it, hated it. I'm so happy for you and Robert. Martha, something happened. Men are like that. I mean, their whole identity is tied up with being successful. You know that. I mean, we are dealing with the male ego here. You know, there's so okay. Neanderthal. Okay, but it's not just his temper or that he lied. He. Isn't this a little soon for him to tell me he doesn't know what he'd do if I left him? You have a man worshipping at your feet and you're questioning him? He's crazy about you. He's gorgeous. And don't you love being in bed with him? Give this man a chance. Here, read this. That saved two of my relationships. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Good, good, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice setup, Sam. Next, we want Next time, we're we are victorious. Next time, I'm teaming with Sharon. <laughs> oh, See, everything went down perfectly right. with you two. You were right. You were right. <laughs> hey, you two telling secrets? Huh? Oh, I love it when you sweat. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I, I don't think this is legal in public. Hold it! I <laughs> 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 mean, I don't want to get a chill. Where's my sweater? Um, oh, I threw it in the trunk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was going to tell you. Believe me, I can explain I'm this. sure you can. I'm sure you can explain anything. I just don't... Who are you, Robert? Just who the hell are you, anyway? Dick, who the hell are you to judge me? You're a liar, Robert. You can't be trusted. That's not a judgment. That's a fact. I can't be with someone who lies to me. Don't you dare walk away from me like this. Sharon! 
Hi, you've missed me. Please leave a message. Sharon, honey, it's me again. Please, please pick up the phone. I love you. Let me explain. Please, please, honey. I know you'll understand. Sharon, I know you love me. your mind. Uh, listen, if I come across a property that screams out Christopher to me, I'm, I'm going to give you a call. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Mr. Kenzer, Mr. Grisham would like to speak with you in his office. Be right there. We're having a rough time now, Robert. Well, you know yourself, interest rates are rising, earthquakes push the property values down. Nobody knows when it's going to turn around. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're going to say, Jerry. Uh, okay, it, it, it's been three months since I closed Nesco, but come on, you know, you know me. I'm, I'm one of your top sellers. Not anymore. We can't carry the overhead. We're having to let a few people go. You don't mean... I can't carry you anymore, Robert. You're just not cutting it. Don't you tell me I'm not good enough! He's lucky he has an attorney for a brother. Okay, but let me tell you something. This guy needs help. I can't believe you do this know, to me I again, know, Bob. Don't start, okay? You need therapy, Bob, oh, okay? Don't I mean, it helped me. Don't start with the therapy thing again, all right? I, I'm not crazy. We're both a little bit crazy. All right, it's not our fault, but it helped me. I'm fine. To go I'm fine. It's Lori. She's the one who's crazy. She took everything. She's she killing me with this alimony. Thanks to her, I'm in this financial nightmare Wait, that I'm Lori was going to press assault charges against you, remember? So we gave her more money. So how much do you need this time? Six. Six thousand. I'll pay you back. I have to get help. I mean it. People don't need doctors, Roy. They need love. Love, and I'm going to be fine now, because I have love in my life. This incredibly beautiful, sweet, intelligent, successful woman wants to be with me. And as long as she's in my life, I'll be all right. I don't blame you, but you can't do this to me. I deserve a chance to... Look, look, don't do this, please. It's over, Robert. Now stop calling me, and don't show up like this again. If you ever really care for me, you'll respect my wishes and leave me alone. Honey, honey, I care for you too much to leave. Honey, you don't know what you're doing right now. Please!
very thorough report, Mr. Moretti. I thank you. In the great city of Los Angeles, you. thanks. You. Throw them away, okay? Just keep them away from me. Oh, I'm so... Just another day at the office? May I help you? No, I was wondering if I could help you. Tommy Moretti, I've been doing uh, some background checks on personnel from Martha Turner, and uh, I was with her just now in the hallway. You're a private investigator? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that's the usual warm welcome, I guess. I, Mr. Uh, Moretti, Moretti. Yeah. I don't know what it was Martha told you. She told me down the hall, third office on the left. Good. I don't need any help. I'm fine. She also you. mentioned something about a crazy ex-boyfriend. Really? I'm fine. Thank you for coming by, really. Oh, no, keep it. I'm through working here for now, besides, uh, I know everything says on there anyway. Hey, uh, just get him to sign it off. A private detective? Why not just put out a newsletter about my personal life and circulate it around the office? That's not a bad idea. The Daily Sharon. I'm sorry. He asked about you. And I'm worried about you. No, I feel guilty having sort of gotten you and Robert together. You seem like such a nice guy. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> Sam has a cousin whose ex-husband hassled her for a while, and she has the name of a therapist who specializes in this kind of I thing. I am an adult, grown-up woman. I can handle whatever's going on myself, okay? Okay? Lovers collide near broccoli and carrots. Hello, Robert. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm glad you, uh, you ran into me. I, I've been wanting to tell you. Uh, look, I know it's over. And I was a colossal jerk. And I'm, I'm totally embarrassed at the way it ended. I'm sorry. I cannot express to you how sorry. Thank you. Take care. Wait, don't, don't, don't run away. Um, look, I know you think of me as a crazy person. Well, that's my fault. I, I was a crazy person. I was acting like one. You know, but I was just going through a hard time and uh, didn't handle it well. That was somebody else. That wasn't me. I'm me now, again. You know. Hi. <laughs> remember me? Yes, Robert, I do remember you. I remember everything. So, so anyway, you just had the misfortune to be an eyewitness to the week that Robert Kenzer fell apart at the seams. I, I never meant to lie to you. Believe me, it was just, it was embarrassment and fear that you would leave me if you found out how bad things really were. I was broke, my ex-wife's a maniac. I, I just wasn't thinking clearly about anything. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. And I'm glad things are going better for you. They are, much better. I'm, I'm with uh, Beach City's Realty now. It's a much better agency. Actually, everything worked out for the best. Actually, I'm... I'm glad I ran into you like this. It relieved a lot of tension for me. Good, good, for me too. You know, I, I, I'm glad I remembered that you said this was the best place to buy veal. Uh, I've missed you, Sharon. Can I give you a call? Why? Just give us one more chance. I swear to God, I won't screw it up this time. I love you. Oh, I didn't tell you I bought veal here. You didn't accidentally run into me. You've been following me. You bastard. Please, please. Leave me Sharon. alone. Damn you, Sharon, you're still angry. Alone. You're just angry, that's all. Believe me, you're gonna forgive me sometime, eventually. I love you, Sharon. I love you, huh? Dr. Bishop, I, I don't know how or why this is happening to me. But I keep thinking, somehow, 
This is my fault. Well, how long has it been going on? Over a month now. Well, tell me about Robert. Robert. Which Robert? The Robert I met. He was kind and sensitive. <laughs> Very sexy. I hope that doesn't sound shallow. I like sexy men. <laughs> And the things he said he wanted. I thought it was a dream. I can't believe I got myself into something I have no control over. Okay, Sharon, let me start to clear this up. You didn't do anything to cause or provoke this. You just didn't know what you were dealing with. What am I dealing with? Compulsion, obsession. Robert sounds like an obsessor and you are his target. I'm a target. Yes, we've just begun to study this as a legitimate psychological state. Certain seemingly normal people, both men and women, snap when a love relationship ends. We dated for three weeks. One date can trigger this, Sharon. Obsessors believe that they've found the one magical person who can make their lives wonderful. And when faced with the prospect of losing this relationship, they panic and they will do anything not to lose this person. And so they pursue and pursue in a predictable pattern. Unwanted gifts, flowers, phone calls, drive-bys. I live every day in a panic. I jump when the phone rings. I dread getting the mail. I, I drive to work frightened. My life has become a state of siege. I know. Why is this happening? Even Robert doesn't know why. Rejection triggers the obsessor. He feels as though he's the victim rejected by the target. This is a nightmare for both of you. Robert can't help himself. He feels totally out of control. So how does this stop? Sometimes obsessors simply give up. Sometimes they go on to someone else, but more often... More often, they become dangerous, don't they? That was like the best film I've seen. Oh, you've oh. got to be kidding. Yes. I thought it was funny. You thought it was funny? Yeah. No, I, no, I don't care what you say. It was a stupid ending. Oh, oh it was. Hey, anybody up for coffee? Uh, if it's okay, I'd like to skip coffee. Would you guys mind just dropping me home? It was really nice to meet you. Phil. Yes, I, I can take you home. I live out your way. Oh, I don't want to trouble you. With... No trouble. Mark. Good night. See you. Good to see you, Phil. Good night. I hope I'm not out of line here, but is something wrong? No, no. No, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Uh, would you like to come in for some ice cream? Yeah, sure. I'll just be another second. I hope you like low fat. It's all I have. Okay, we've got 
rocky road and swift vanilla fudge. Looks great. Have a seat. Uh, Which one? A little of each, please. Uh, All right, I'll make some coffee. What are you doing to do with that coffee? verbally he just keeps telling me he loves me and you haven't kept his notes his letters his gifts no no i didn't want them around the house don't you understand this man is stalking me okay everywhere i go i see him watching me or or feel him lurking in the shadows maybe tonight all he did was bang on my door but what's gonna happen next time what we know this is frightening and you did the right thing in calling us We've got laws over the last few years to help us with this, but we're going to need more from you if we're going to go after this guy, okay? <sighs> from now on, we need you to keep everything. Uh, letters, gifts, messages on your phone machine, it's all evidence. And a detailed record of the dates and times of all incidents. See, we need hard proof. And then we can arrest this guy for stalking you. And then what, Bert? Tell her the rest. I called him. Don't be mad. Tyler, you involved here? You know this clown? Detective Weber and I trained together. Unfortunately, I had a bad attitude. Hello, Miss Blake. You okay? So tell her what can happen while she's out uh, gathering the evidence. He can turn violent, raper, killer. But let's say you arrest him and he's nonviolent. He gets what? A year? Out in six months? Now he's angry. And he's coming back for her. Depending on how crazy he is. Well, by all means, let's not assume he's crazy. What do you suggest I do? Actually, it's quite a simple solution. You disappear. You move. No forwarding address, you have your mail sent to a P.O. box. Change phone numbers, make it unlisted. You buy a new car, you repaint the old one. Isn't this a little drastic? I'm just getting started. You tell your old neighbors and landlord not to give Robert any information when he comes looking for you, and believe me, he will. You change jobs. Okay, that's a tough one. So you alert everyone at work he's not to be let into that building and to watch for him lingering outside. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Are you talking about my office? No, I... I got friends who own a security building. I can have you approved and moved in three days. While you're moving, I'm watching Robert and I'm watching your house. Do you know how to use a gun? A gun? No. I'm to disrupt my entire life because of this man. You don't have to do any of this. Gather evidence. Try a court order. Although I've never seen a piece of paper stop anybody if they've decided to get to you. No. No, I can't. I did nothing wrong. I'm not going to take my entire life apart because I had a three-week affair with this, this maniac. I know it sounds extreme, but you're risking more than just an inconvenience. Yeah, well, thank you very much for your time. I can see my way out. Good luck.
I just... Oh, what are you doing here? No, I just, just want to talk to you. Okay. All right, okay. Okay, you, you wait up there. Let me put a rope on. And we'll talk, okay? Concentrate on anything. I break into tears in the middle of the day. I know I messed up before, but I love you so much. Please, please, please give me another chance. This isn't fair. This just isn't fair. You're right. Right, I haven't been very fair to you. Oh, it's true. People make mistakes. I didn't give you another chance. That wasn't very nice. I need to give you another chance. I see that now. Oh, baby, really? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it feels so good to touch you. I'll make it right this time. I swear I'll never lie to you again. I believe you. I believe you. Let's go make love right now. Oh, Robert, I'd love to, baby, but... I've got a pack. I'm being picked up in an hour. I'm late as it is. Huh? Well, well, where are you going? Atlanta. To a conference. I'll be back Friday. I'll be back Friday, and we'll have the whole weekend, okay? What, what, what time? Four o'clock. I'll call you. I'll call you. We'll have the whole weekend. Oh, God. I love you so much. Mm. Thank you for not being angry with me. You know, for everything. We'll start over. Yeah. Everything's gonna be perfect. You'll see. Don't ever hurt me again. Sharon Blake, please. May I say who's calling, please? Robert Kent, sir. One moment, sir. I'm sorry, Miss Blake is no longer in this office. She's relocated out of state. Can I direct your call to someone else, sir? Sir? I know you are, but you are safe. He can't find you now. You're only vulnerable at work. I'll make sure he doesn't follow you home, okay? Don't go any familiar places this weekend. Come Monday, I'll be right on his tail. I'm not stepping outside this weekend. 
No. Would you feel any safer if I invited myself to stay for dinner? Yes. Yes, yes I would like that. Would you like to stay for dinner tonight? That depends. What are you making? to souffle. You have to time a souffle just... I know. I saw Julie Child make a souffle once. It was scary. Where is she? Check and see if the broccoli's done. Well, you want me to taste it? No, you stick your... You really are a bachelor, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Tommy, thank you. What did I do now? No, this is the first time in weeks that I feel almost normal again. It's, uh, good. <laughs> You're sweet. I ruined it. No, no, you know, a souffle is, uh, a delicate, uh... Hi. Can I help you? Oh, uh, boy, I hope so, or else I'm gonna be in some big trouble. I promised Director Sharon Blake that I would have these reports, uh, here for her for an emergency meeting tomorrow morning. Who has this number? You, my mother, and Martha. Hello. Martha, Martha, well, calm down. Stop crying. Would it? I'll just be a second. And what else? Well, what else did he say, Martha? Well, did he threaten you? Then he did nothing illegal. The police won't even file a report. Yeah, she's going to be fine. Now, how about you? Are you okay? Good going, Martha. I'm proud of you. Sure. Bye. Don't tell me. He frightened her. He was in her building, oh, but God. she didn't tell me anything. Well, it's gonna get rough now. Hardwood floors. Oh, what size is the lot? About 1800. That sounds like just what he's looking for. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Hey, Bob Kenzer. Tommy Moretti. Have a seat. We met somewhere before. Open house. Yes. Greenleaf. Right? Beautiful property. It's just waiting for the right buyer. I, I do have an offer on it, but if you'd like to see it again. I'm not buying, I'm selling information. But I'll give you this much for free. It's over, Robert. We've contacted the police and they've started a little file on you. One more visit and you move into county jail and you lose this job too, just like the last one. Oh yeah, I know all about you. You live at 1640 Wood Park? Your son, Eric, attends Hamilton grade school on last Wednesday. You went to a Japanese massage parlor. You want to hear more? You're a Virgo, you hate pizza, you like to sing show tunes in bed. Get it? I'm your new best friend. The Lone Ranger in Tonto. From now on, you don't breathe without thinking of me. You want to know why? Because I only have eyes for you. Threatening me. No, I'm just delivering a message. Well, 
I want you to deliver a message for me. Tell Shannon that I love her. And that when she comes to her senses, I know we'll be together. You're a sick man, Bob. A computer analyst in Chicago, 26 years old. Despite switching apartments, having escorts to and from work, she was still finally kidnapped, shot, and found in a ditch. Here, here, a businesswoman in New Mexico. She transferred jobs, moved, got married, had two children. Six years later, her ex-boyfriend hired someone to kill her. I've got tons of... Sharon. Here, look, look, postal worker in Michigan, hired bodyguard, moved. Stopped going to church. Sharon, enough. He finally ambushed her in the courthouse where she was getting a restraining order against him. He stabbed her with a butcher knife. Eleven times. Is this what I'm waiting for? If he wants to kill me, no one. Not the police, not Tommy. No one can stop him. Why won't he stop? What does he want? You're not going to like my answer. You are no longer the one magical person who's going to make his life wonderful. You've now become the one person who is causing him so much pain. And now the goal of his obsession is going to change. He's no longer going to be out to recapture you, but to punish you. After pursuit and stalking, the last stage of the obsession is revenge. Hey, Bob. Oh. What do you say we wait here until Miss Blake gets off work? Just in case you were thinking of following her home. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Mike, you're gonna be here a while. A couple of hours. Listen, I have an appointment with a big buyer. Uh, my transmission's on a fridge. So I could blow ten grand here. All right. You owe me dinner.
do. Never go grocery shopping when you're hungry. <laughs> you got a souffle you can whip up? Your turn tonight. My turn? Okay, let's check this out. What do you think? Hmm? Instant home away from home? Hmm? It works? World of difference. <laughs> World of difference. I'll be right back. Can I sit on? Go ahead. Good. Six forty six nine of the penal code, subsection A. There must be a credible threat with the intent to place that person in reasonable fear for his or her safety before this law even kicks in. Now this guy is smart, Tommy. He doesn't make threats. What are you telling me? You got him on trespass. That's a misdemeanor. He's out in five days. Okay, well then take the evidence you've got and get a restraining order. That way, if we can't make this stalking charge stick, we'll nail him on harassment. Because other than that, I don't know what to tell you. Thanks, Bert. Paper is not going to stop him. You know that. That's it. Robert and I are going to have another talk. Excuse me, I'm looking for Robert Kenzer. That bum called in sick today. Thanks. Come on, come on, answer. found him yet. I'm leaving, Tommy. No. I'm leaving. I surrender. He's won. He has. He has. Yes, he has. You were right when you said I had to disappear. I can't disappear. I'll here. get him. This guy will not ruin your life. He already has. He'll never stop. I have to go away. Sharon? Oh, my God. Hi, honey. Go on. Hey! This woman and I used to be in love. Unfortunately, we parted, but we made arrangements to meet at this it's restaurant. A bunch of crap. And when I arrived, this He's lying. Man He's been stalking her. He broke into you have no apartment. Does anyone care about the safety? My brother is not a criminal. As you can see, this man is insanely jealous of me. He's dangerously off balance and a pathological liar. Hey, hey, you see this? Are you uh, arresting this? Shut up, everybody. Are you arresting this man or not? Maybe. We'll talk this over down at the station. You too, Miss Burke. You come along as a witness. I'm not playing it your way anymore. I'm not a witness. I didn't see a thing. Gentlemen? Come on. This way, sir. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Come on. Here we go.
What is it? Court order. How could he get a court order against me overnight? His brother. Yesterday was a perfect setup. Robert knew you'd slug him. Robert planned everything. I'm not going to be leaving now. He'll just follow me. He'll find me. Nothing's going to stop him. I saw the way he looked at me yesterday. He's going to kill me. I won't let him near you. You won't be around. He'll make sure of that. I'm going to have to stop him myself. Don't you see that? We need threats, right? Threats to my life, my safety. We'll get Robert to a neutral place. A motel so he won't smell a trap. I'll hide a tape recorder in the room. Invite him in. Have you let lost your mind? I won't live like this anymore. It doesn't mean I'm going to let you be alone in a room with a lunatic. If you won't help me with this, I'll hire someone who will. Sergeant Polinsky. Speaking. This is Robert Kenzer. Wow. The man I have a court order against. Just attacked me. Hello? Sharon, it's me. You all right? Yeah, hi. I'm outside his place. He's in there. I don't like this, Sharon. I want to call it off. No. No, I'll call you right back. to get together and talk. Things have gotten a little out of hand between us. Yes, I'd love to see you. Where are you? I'm at a motel. I needed to get away and think. Will your boyfriend be there? He's not my boyfriend. No, we'll be alone. I'm at the Tivoli Motel on Century, room 206. Room 206. I'll be there soon. I've missed you, Sharon.
face is smashed and he looks insane. I'm gonna call it off. No, Tommy, I want to do this. I'm gonna have to face him sooner or later. No, I'm not gonna let something happen to you. I'm pulling him over. Tommy! Wait to hear from me. Just wait to hear from me. <sighs> Sergeant Walensky, this is Robert Kenzer again. I'm on my way to the hospital right now in my car, and the man who attacked me is following me. He's in a green Pontiac convertible. I'm very frightened. Where's he going? That's not the right way. about some woman that's been stopped. Get him out of there. Get him out. Let him in, just stay there. you here, Robert, but I'm a little afraid of you now. Let me in. We'll talk about it. Tell me first. Why have you been following me? And why did you break into my apartment? You wouldn't see me. We love each other. And you've been trying to destroy that. Is that why you lied to the security guard to get into my office? I never did that. Are you going to deny that? You left me pages of love notes. I have witnesses. You've been frightening me, Robert. Can you understand that?
Robert. Robert, are you there? Where do you think you're going? Why'd you run away from me? You think I'm gonna hurt you? Huh? Robert, please. This has to stop. No, you have to stop. You have to stop all this. You lied to me. The worst thing in the world is a liar. You're nothing but a vile, lying trap. You said you'd give me another chance. I believed you. You were the most beautiful. He doesn't love you. Sleeping with him. Shut up, you liar! I love you. Come, you hear me, Robert. You need help. I know someone. Shut up, sir. Shut up. Don't touch me. Don't touch me.
Enough for me. Martha, you have to get married and have a baby. I've never been happier. You have to do this. 